So in 2021, I was told about the Arju Boy handheld game console, uh, the open source community for it, the API. There's a library. You can make your own games with this. And I thought, this is so cool. I want to get one. So I went to the website. And at the time, they were sold out. They did not have any being made anymore. There were no plans for them. So it looks like as of today, they have a new one called an Arju Boy FX. And I'll kind of want to point it out to you if you're interested. Um, it's going to, looks like it's a pre-order, ship in March 2022, $54, comes with uh, 200 unique games. So I'm assuming this has got a built-in ROM or something. Well, at the time this didn't exist. So I went online, eBay, and yes, I found some used ones, but they were way too much money. I went to the Midwest Gaming Classic looking for one, a used one couldn't find one there either so long story short instead of spending you know a couple hundred bucks I went ahead and bought this Kai Studio 1.3 inch uh, RG Boy clone and Santa uh, put it under the tree for me and uh, I'm gonna open it with you today we're gonna put it together and take a look at uh, its quality um, and see if we can get some games going on it all right see you over at the bench all right, so here's the box that came in. Basically showing the parts, how to put them together. Like I said, there's a, there's actually no soldering on this. This is what it uses for power. Comes with a little Phillips screwdriver. Ah, looks like it's got two AAs. Interesting. Two AAs. That's three volts. Let's take a look at this thing. It's got, uh, I guess this is acrylic. Some type of acrylic plexiglass type material for the front. Some standoffs, some screws, uh, typical USB plug. Looks kind of like this. Buttons feel pretty good. So on the back, we've got the two AAs. This is interesting. It's got an inductor on it. Um, I bet. I bet it's got a boost converter somewhere. So let's take a look at some of these chips. We'll see what we got. Oh, that looks maybe like a reset button. On off button. Alright. So let's just go ahead and put this thing together now. will not be too difficult. I mean, heck, it even came with uh, its own Phillips. So, we've got plexiglass. Peel this stuff off. Nice if it had a little tab on it. Make it easier to pull off. It's not too bad though. Okay. 
one. I'll grab the instructions to see how they say to put it together. Surprised they went with uh, the whole step up, step down voltage stuff. That seems kind of weird to me. I mean, if you're gonna step it up, step it up. I guess they don't have. I guess the display doesn't come in a five volt version. But I would be surprised if the um, the AT Mega doesn't come under 3.3. Ah, uh, you know what it could be? The um, speed of the microprocessor, depending on how fast you're running it, it probably needs a different voltage. So that might be why they have to step it up. Like if you want to run it at 10, or it might be 16 or 20 or something like that. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm over here using the computer. Okay. Um, I was trying to save the video. All right. Um, yep, I got all the parts. Yep, I see the that. Yep. So it looks like it wants me to use the small standoffs on the front and the big ones on the bottom. In terms of screws, huh? Okay, I see. The long screws for the front, the short screws for the back, and everything screws in to the standoffs. So let's go and get the standoffs out. We'll leave the other screws in place for now. I'm gonna take off the plastic. Some people really like that. There you go. All right. Now we want to we're go through. Same thing. If you can't see what I'm doing, I'm just sticking one of these spacers underneath. Try to get it aligned. Get the screw to go through it. Then I'm tightening off this additional standoff. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Doesn't leave much. Not very many threads free after you've done this. <clears throat> Obviously, if you're, if you're still watching, you can always fast forward past this part. I'm almost done. Obviously, putting it together is not very complicated. We'll go over here in a minute and install something on it. Okay. So there's a small hole here in plexiglass, and there is a, an adjustment here, a little pot on the on the uh, 
motherboard of PCB, which probably is the uh, brightness setting. I'm guessing it's the brightness setting, but it would make sense. Okay, and we're going to use the little Phillips came with it. Loosen this one up. I'll tighten them all at the same time. Okay, and one more. I should keep looking up at the camera to make sure it's something you can see. I've got everything positioned. Okay, let's flip it over, tighten these up. Turn it on. Make sure that it still comes up. Oh, gotta put power up, oh, gotta put batteries on it first. Dull. <clears throat> All right, came up showing on the screen something. Again, you might not be able to see it that well. Okay, so let's go ahead and look under the hood here. I pulled the back off. We've got uh, triple A's, three volts in. We've got the microprocessor, uh, the 32U4 uh, Atmel uh, will run at 16 megahertz with 4.5 and up a voltage like to 5.5 something like that so I think what we've got going here is um, we've got an inductor we've got a boost converter I'm, I guess uh, the part number on it is a 9BTIR5R I think that's what U3 is I think it's the boost converter U2 I was able to look up that's a 3.3 volt uh, low dropout voltage regulator so I think what's going on here is we're taking three volts, going through the boost converter, getting five volts, powering the microprocessor with it, and then converting that five volts back down to 3.3 volts and sending it over to the display. So if we check a couple things here, we can probably prove to ourselves that that's what's going on. Why? I don't know. Why not? So let's... Uh, Get a voltage here, turn it on. I know where ground is. So I know that on this microprocessor, see if I can get this in focus for you. So on a microprocessor, this chip here should be VC. Yes. And I'm getting a 4.9 readout. So if I go over to the uh, LDO, I've got 4.9 volts there. That's the input. This is the output right here, and I've got 3.5 volts. So that's exactly what's going on. This is most likely the boost. We could probably pin it out. It's not worth it. Um, it's an interesting way to handle voltage. Uh, the original R, um, RG Boy used a lithium polymer battery. I believe it ran at 16 megahertz. Um, so anyway, we'll button this back up again, and we'll talk about is it worth 25 bucks? All right. All right. With that, I'll meet you back over at the computer. Okay, so the clone came with a couple QR codes to get some games. If you just go online, you'll find a number of websites. Irwin's Boy collection is actually pretty good. There's a link to the Boy uploader. So I downloaded that and installed it. Um, and then basically what you can do is go to the site and look around. I just searched for invaders. So you got a number of uh, space invader clones. And I downloaded this three-in-one. I actually downloaded the hex file and then just 
uh, ran the uploader and gave it the file and boom I was able to start playing invaders so it works fine uh, as a clone I haven't had any issues yet I've played it for a few days um, so anyway let's discuss if it's worth 25 bucks or not <laughs> So the question is, is it worth 25 bucks? Well, you know, form, fit, and function. Uh, it's certainly not credit card sized like the Arju Boy is. Uh, 25 bucks is 25 bucks. If you need one right away, sure. It's a fun little toy. Uh, if you think you can hold out, I'd personally get the uh, Arju Boy FX. It's got to have all the games built in. Plug in the thing in, downloading a game. Uh, worked fine. There's tons of games available online. You can program it with the API. I haven't had any compatibility issues and I seriously doubt that I would. Um, there's also a number of Arju Boy clones online and if you have any kind of lab uh, you can with an, with an Arduino Pro Mini I believe which runs the 32U40 you can um, make one and you know you don't even need to buy a kit you can just make one you just need the screen some buttons I mean you know most people probably parts wise guessing less than five bucks maybe so anyway with that sure it's worth 25 bucks I got 25 bucks worth of fun out of it making the video and I've been playing some games on it the games are fun. I might write something for it. I'm going to keep my eye out for the Arju Boy FX. I think that um, for 54 bucks, it's probably worth it. So anyway, as always, learn something new every day, and I'll see you later. Bye.